Hey, this is Adam Hickman from Foxhound Bee Company. We carry the Larab vaporizers and the Instavap in our store. And we have a lot of people who ask us about the features and compare one with the other, uh, the corded models versus the, the ones that take the, uh, the batteries. There's a couple of different versions and it, it depends on what type of beekeeper you are, how many hives you have, where they are, are they in your backyard, are they far away? Uh, if you already have batteries, th those things come into play with deciding like which one of these vaporizers you use. And in case you don't know what a vaporizer is, it's basically a heated element that turns oxalic acid crystals. They look like this. And these are, these are, this is like this white powder. And these are oxalic acid crystals, which when they're, when they're heated, they turn into a gas and uh, they will uh, they will kill varroa mites in a colony, um, but they don't harm the uh, honeybee. So it's a really popular way for treating for varroa mites. It's one of our favorite ways. It's an organic way to do it and it's very effective. And the bees, they don't suffer from oxalic acid. You can use it year round, it works great in the winter and the mites are not going to get used to it as well. So there's a couple of different models and they have all these little kind of different designs. Uh, some go in the front, some go in the back. So. I'm going to talk to you about um, how these work and um, just like what are the nuances in the differences between one model and the other and which one you would probably uh, choose. This was the original model right here. So uh, it has a 110 plug in it. Um, so you would need an extension cord that goes to an inverter or it would need to go to uh, a wall and, and then you could power this. Um, they're, they're very fast units, very convenient, um, except for you just have to be able to plug it in. I've used an inverter for my truck in the past and it worked out really, really well. It powered the unit perfectly fine. So it's just some details about this. So it has a, has a display, a readout, and you can customize it. It comes already preset um, to um, the temperature it needs to heat up. So when you plug it in and then you turn it on, it has a switch right here on the side. When you turn it on, it starts heating this cup. And the, the difference right here between these two units is really how it's designed in the front. Um, they both come with these little blue caps I'll talk about in a second, but they have a kind of a, dis a different design in the front. You can see how the stem is kind of pointed down. It's closer to the bottom of the bowl here. And this uh, stem is very flat and it's on the, uh, the top of the bowl right here. So this is the original design and it, it was meant to go into the back of the hive. It, uh, you can drill a hole in the bottom of the uh, of the bottom board and you could slide this in and so the this stem would actually go inside the hive and you could do the bottom board or you could do the box and and then when you uh put it in there and let it rest this little plate right here would actually rest on the box and the the unit would hang and so the way that these blue cups work is you would scoop your oxalic acid into this you could set it on top of your hive and then you would take your bowl and push it down onto it and then it would squeeze it would squeeze the cup into the bowl like this and then it would and when you flip it over like you would go into the hive like this and then rotate it around and then the oxalic acid would fall down into the bowl and start shooting out the front here it happens immediately so you would preheat the unit by turning it on and it gives you like two readouts one would be the the current temperature and the other would be the temperature it's taking this bowl to and when it's preheated that's when you would actually use the treatment. So this one goes through the back of the hive. It's hard to put it into the, the, the entrance of the hive um, because uh, this little plate does get in the way. So if you do want to treat from the front, you have like this option right here. So you can see like the stem, it's a, it's a higher gauge stem. It's pretty heavy duty and it's also sitting lower. So you can actually put this into, into the front of the hive. And so let me, let me show you here. So like this is the, uh, this is the front entrance model. So you would just like slide it right here into the front um, and then it would just you could probably set it right here so it doesn't it doesn't roll at all and then you would take some towels and put it in right here so this is the the front entrance model and because you put so much pressure kind of on that front wand um, it's it's a little heavier gauge and i'll show you this one right here so this is the this is the back entrance model and you can see when you put it here it just the stem hits the box right here and this little plate gets in the in the way so these are for the most part, they, these are the same price. They come with the same features, the same heating unit. It's just a, a different configuration of that bowl right there. I would say for the most part, we probably sell more of these front entrance ones just because they're a little bit more convenient. They both are, they both sell perfectly fine. They're both popular. So those are the, the two corded units. We, we recommend both of them, good quality, good service, good warranty on both of these units as well. And they're, they're, uh, they're fairly inexpensive too compared to these other vaporizers.
So now we're talking about these, the Instavats right here. These are the two units right here that are available right now. This is kind of the classic model that came out. Uh, very, very popular. It's kind of the, the pro version of this. Uh, and then this is the, the, the newer version right here as well. So we'll talk about the differences right here. I'll talk about this one first and what you get when you buy it. So when you, when you buy this vaporizer, it comes with this unit, it does not come with the battery. You actually choose whichever uh, shoe that you want when you buy it. So this one right here, if you can see it, it says uh, DW right there, and that's for DeWalt. So there's DeWalt, Rigid, Makita, Milwaukee, um, and I think there might be one or two other ones um, as well. But uh, you choose the Instavap that fits the batteries that you already have. Um, and I would say out of all of those, the DeWalt batteries are the most expensive, um, but in the Rigid batteries are probably the cheapest, but we sell more DeWalt, batteries, DeWalt kits than we do um, any of the other ones. So you buy it, you come, it comes with this unit, and then it comes with the plunger right here. And I'll talk about the plunger in some detail. So this is actually what you use to apply the oxalic acid. So you can see there are some markings right there. All right there, and you can kind of see where it, it has, a, has a one, a two, a three, and a four right there. And that basically tells you the, the oxalic acid amount that you're putting into it. So th this is a plunger and when you press it, you can see that it kind of slides right there. So it actually pushes the oxalic acid out of this, out of this device down into this preheated bowl down here. So you would set, if you wanted to do a one gram treatment, you would just turn this dial until it's set at one gram. And if you want to do four grams, which is the max that this will do, you would just screw it until it's set to four grams. Um, and then that is actually how you apply the, uh, the dosage for your uh, vaporizer. So as far as the actual unit goes, so it has this piece right here, which is uh, a handle, but it also serves as a place to also store um, another plunger. So you can put a plunger here and then you can store another plunger inside of this handle as well. It comes with a readout right here. So let's go ahead and take a battery. We'll pop it in. So I have a, a readout right here. So you may not be able to see it, but it says 19.4 volts. And that is the status of my, of my battery right now. And then it also has this readout right here. So the red one, it says 70. And the, the green one right here says 445. So that means that this unit is set to heat up the bowl that's in here up into 445, 445 degrees Fahrenheit. And currently it's at 70. So when you flip the switch, you'll see that the temperature here drops from 19.4 and it shows that it's pulling. So right now it says 18.4, 18.3 is pulling charge from this battery right now until it's heating the bowl. So the bowl used, uh, used to be 70, now it's 84, 85, 86, 87. So that'll heat up all the way up, up until it's 445 degrees right there. And you have the switch right here to turn it off. So now it is still heating, but that's just because of um, carryover heat. It's not going to keep heating because I've turned it off. And right now the charge is at 19.1. So both of the units I'm going to show you, they've got a battery override feature. So you're not going to destroy your battery, which is a nice feature because these batteries are very expensive. This is a five amp battery, and that's probably the minimum I would say to use with these uh, Instav apps. Um, I would they make them up to I think eight or nine, ten amps, and that's for doing a lot of hives. But a couple of these will take care of most beekeepers as well. So you can see it's still reading 118. It's not going up anymore. Uh, you have the ability with this little control panel to adjust the temperature on it, um, but it's already, already preset. There's no reason to adjust the temperature. On the front here, this stem, you can see uh, this will actually unscrew. So if this ever gets damaged, you can actually get a replacement stem for this uh, from the manufacturer. Uh, and then they'll also service the unit if it ever needs it as well. It's a little, it might be hard to tell, but on the very front right here, there's these two little spikes. Uh, it looks like it's unfinished, um, like during manufacturing, it, it just was unfinished, but those are actually these little spikes so that when you put it into the entrance of the hive, they actually dig into the wood or whatever material your, your hive is, and it will just kind of grab onto it, which is nice. As far as how long it takes to treat, once you drop your oxalic acid down into it, it probably will uh, take about 30 seconds or so. What we tell customers is the first time they, they use it, I would say, to do it outside the hive and count how long it takes. Um, and that way, you know, when you're doing inside the hive, you can, you know, when it's done, uh, obviously it'll take longer to sublimate four grams, um, than it does to take one gram, but you can certainly test that outside of the hive. So 
Uh, before I put it in uh, in the front and to kind of show you how it hangs, I want to talk about this one right here. So this is the other version right here. This is kind of the more streamlined version. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles, but it does do the same thing as the other unit. And it takes the same, uh, has the same shoes. So you can do Dewalt, Rigid, Makita, Milwaukee, um, and all those other brands uh, that they have. The biggest difference is, is that it doesn't have a display. So it has a red light and has a switch. And that is the only interface that you have with this unit as compared to the other ones. You can't see how many volts your battery has left on this one. And you can't also control uh, the temperature of the unit that it heats up to as well. It's all built in. You don't need to control it anyway. The, the only interface is this red light. And it may be a little tough to tell, but if you see, if you look right here, um, underneath the handle, it actually has a readout. It says, our three long blinks is heating, a steady light is ready and ready to treat. A lot of light flashing is treating, and then two long flashes, and then a break is low battery as well. So it has a little readout, so you can actually look at the lights and see how it reads. So I'll, I'll put one in here so you can see. All right, so it's off. I'll flip this light or the switch right here. So now it is heating. So it is taking it up to presumably up to 445, which would be the other unit as well. So it'll blink like this uh, until it has a steady light. Um, and that will be, that'll be ready to treat. And then it has the same plunger as the other one. So you can put a plunger in here. And then you can also put a plunger in here. One thing I do like about this one is that it has support on the handle right here and then also on the back as well. So it's, it's very sturdy, very strong. On the front, on the actual bowl, I'll flip this off so it doesn't burn me. So uh, it has these pieces right here and that solves, or that does the same thing as those other ones where it kind of digs into, into the wood. It has the same stem right here where you can actually unscrew it if it ever gets damaged or bent. Uh, so let me show you actually how it fits into, into the front of the entrance. Um, so you can see that there are some differences uh, to how they sit. Uh, I'll show you right here. So this one right here has the battery on it. If you sit it like this, the wand uh, sits off the top of the hive. The wand doesn't get into the dirt and it's kind of nice how that, um, how that sits. Whereas with this other one, when you put it in there, you can see the, the battery is not heavy enough and it will like tilt forward like that. So the actual stem will go into, uh, into the dirt if you stand, hit it on, or uh, put it on the ground, which isn't, which isn't my favorite thing. I'll pop this in and I'll show you how it goes into the, uh, the entrance of the, uh, of the hive. So this vaporizer right here, so this is designed to go into the entrance of, of the hive. So you could, once you have it hot, you take your plunger, you put it in here. And then when you have your, your stem in there, then you just hit it down like this and then it will vaporize. And you can see this is kind of nice because it actually hangs off the front right here. Those little, those little pieces hold onto it really well. The weight isn't on the stem on the front. It's just on these little kind of these hooks that hang out on the front, which is kind of nice. Um, and the battery, depending on the size of your battery, if you have one of the big nine amp batteries, it's going to set a little bit lower. But if you have something in the way right here, uh, maybe like a, like a hive stand or something like that, this battery is actually sitting up above it, which is kind of nice. So, and this is done. You pull this out, fill it back with oxalic acid, and then treat on your on your next hive. So I'll show you right here in the handle how it just kind of slides in right there for storage if you wanted to store a, a second one right there. So let me show you how this this next one fits. So here is the the classic one. So slide this one in here. And then it would go into the entrance as well. So it still holds there nice and flush, but you can see how the battery sits below the bottom board edge right here. So if you have something in the way, like a really long bottom board, uh, like a landing board. If you have like a custom one that's like maybe that long, uh, this battery will get in the way and you'll be able to push it all the way forward as well. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how these are designed and the features for them. And uh, they're, I'll tell you, they're extremely well made, great warranty great reputation for being a, a, a good tool. And uh, I'd probably say if you have, I would say maybe more than 10 hives, one of these units will pay for itself pretty pretty quickly because the oxalic acid is, is pretty cheap. I mean, it's it's probably a, a quarter of treatment, something like that, and probably even less if you if you buy the OA in, uh, in bulk. So hopefully you found that helpful and uh, you can pick one of those up from us. We'll ship it out pretty quickly to you guys. You can buy it on our website at foxhoundbcompany.com.